hello hello everyone welcome back to another unboxing video so today my tame wild um box came in the mail today um it was actually um nice because it was delivered to my door um but that usually means because the boxes are full but it was so cute because of how there was a little geico on it and i was just like how precious and sweet is that um, so it just felt like it, it was like such extra good energies within this box. But um, so I open, I just like sliced it open. I was excited because this theme was about astrology. So and that's something I really wanted to dive like deeper in this year. So the perfect time. Cause that's what I wanted to do. I know like the the basics, but I want to dive deeper and learn how they correspond with each other. You know. Um, so I'm going to put this in my lap so we can have some room. And looks like we have our ritual tools, but I don't see like a ritual card. That's what the box looks like without that. So this is, I'll just share that as we look at the items. So the first thing I see is some beautiful chamomile which is kind of awesome because I was running low on this, so it's nice to get some more. Um, but it looks like everyone got maybe different herbs, because I'm looking right here, and it says glass jar with herbs. So if you did get this box, I'd love to know what herb did you get. I'd love to know if that was like German chamomile or Egyptian chamomile. I'm still trying to learn the difference. But I love that they did the glass with the cork. Um, I did like those um, paper canisters that they were doing, but nothing beats the beautiful, like labeled glass jar with the cork on it. So that's awesome. And it just says about this crafted with intentions, or excuse me, with intention. This new series of sacred herb jars begins with a single herb in our traditional apothecary with a traditional apothecary jar with a magically designed label. Start your collection or add it to, or excuse me, or add to it with this refillable airtight jar filled with herbs and magical, excuse me, herbs for magical and ritual use, excuse me. So of course, refillable. I always just like, chamomile is so, so sweet and calming. That's awesome. And then next we see is this altar cloth. I have this guy already. A long time ago they gave it though. So like this is, isn't really a, a repeat. But um, I'm probably going to save this um, to share with share in the future. But it's beautiful and I could see why they use this one. Especially like with the litho coming up and everything. So this is beautiful. It has the moon um, phases and the astrological symbols around it. And then like the sun, the crescent moon, the star in the middle. Oops. So this is like, I actually was going to pull mine out for litho without realizing like, that this was coming. So I had that out, but so I'm going to save that for the pass along. But let me read about it. It just says, Zodiac Altar Cloth, bring the magic of the moon and astrological signs into your altar and practice. The soft pink and rose gold design is a magical addition to any sacred space. Work with this altar cloth as your guide while using your one of the items in the box, which I think this is actually going to be the next thing. It's your astrology dice. Okay. Beautiful satin sachet. Oh. <clears throat> so, the plastic. Um, I'm going to tell. But we have astrological dice, which I've been learning how to play with these, and I've been loving them. I have like the clear set, but this set's nice because it's color coordinated to the, <clears throat> I believe this is the planetary, planetary dice, astrological one, and the house. So 
So that's really nice. Whoops. Kind of roll. And I just I love that sound. I love that they says. And it says about So it's about these as the astrology dice. The set of three dice is a perfect way to practice astrology while divining with the universe. Containing the houses, signs, and planets, this set houses significant excuse me, houses signify different areas of life. Planets represent specific energies and signs overlay qualities onto these energies. Toss them and interpret your flow for learning or to divine astrological messages. Have those. And then I see a little tame wild sachet, a little canvas bag. This looks like this. I've been loving that they've been given like the sterling silver necklaces. Um, I know the, the actual chain is sterling, but I just don't think that the charms are because I've had their, um, their charms for so long and they didn't like tarnish like sterling usually does. Um, but this is really sweet. I don't want to take it out of here yet because I don't want the chain to really kind of just do this. Don't mind me taking a second. Just put that back. We have that same beautiful astrological wheel with all the astrological signs. It looks like a little a little crescent in the middle, which is really sweet. I can't wait to wear that. Probably wear it. Um some of the jewelry I've been wearing, but it says about this, the celestial zodiac necklace suspended with a 22 inch chain holds a round pendant representing all 12 zodiac signs designed to be worn solo or layered with other favorite pieces. And then next we get a desert rose and he's a big boy. I've bought from them the baby desert roses because I love like that they're perfect sizes, you know, to put in small jars and stuff. Um, but oh I love desert roses. Desert rose plants, desert rose crystals. What it says about a desert rose is a form of gypsum and is a popular grounding stone, is said to be useful for past life recall, which I agree with that ancestral workings. It's beautiful to use. Um, it's actually created by wind, sand, and water in the desert, specific, like in three different regions. I know the Sahara. Um, I forget what the, the, the desert is in Mexico. And then one more. And then you can um, see the different variations from the three different deserts, which is beautiful. The most one that you see often is the from the Sahara. Aw, big boy, I can't wait to get, I got the, like all of my desert roses have like little names and stuff, so I can't wait to get to know this one. This one, this one feels like an old wise man. How sweet. You can kind of see like, kind of see a little face, eyes, and like a long nose. Kind of like the green man in a way. Oh, this, I love this. Probably my favorite thing. Favorite thing so far. But yeah, I definitely recommend um, working with the Desert Rose for ancestral working, especially if you have connection to the regions that they come from. But beautiful. Um, and it just says about the desert rose. Desert rose connects with the earth's core, embodying grounding energies and promoting 
stabilizing, or excuse me, stability and clarity. It is used for meditation, aiding in releasing negative emotions and promoting inner peace. It is gentle yet potent energy encourages harmony between the physical and spiritual realms. Yes. Because it is a form of gypsum, so it, like selenite, it's able to charge, cleanse, and do all those good things too. And then I see the Sweet Dreams Temple Oil. And it has some pretty herbies in there. It sounds like a crystal, even maybe. There's some amethyst. Amethyst chips. And they're like. And it has so a little one ounce C. Almond oil, French lavender oil, cedarwood oil, chamomile oil, and lavender buds. I love that's a dropper. Oh, it smells really nice. It has the, the, it smells mostly like lavender, which I really enjoy the smell of lavender. But it says about this, temp oils have been used through the centuries and are a favorable, or excuse me, are a favorite of mystics and green witches alike. Carefully blended with intention, this blend is designed to calm a scattered mind and assist in the transition of sleep. I love any sleepy time stuff. I'm all about that, so that's awesome. And then I guess I'm gonna get this big guy out of the way. I've been loving that they've been doing these candles and I love how long they last. The only thing, yeah, I figured, um, that I would love for them to do, because it is a spell candle, that maybe have like a little spell on the back. But I guess it's like while you're doing the workbook, I guess is kind of the intention, I guess. But um, I love this packaging, it's beautiful. The scent is lemon, rosemary, lavender, freesia, I've never heard of that before, oak moss, and sandalwood. Oh wow, it's very strong. So right after I took that out, or off. Ooh, it's a black candle. Be good for like a dark moon, or like new moon workings. That's beautiful. The, some of the clear quartz didn't stick, but that's okay. But that smells so nice. I don't know what that reminds me of, though. It reminds me of something. It's like, it's so soothing, though. I'd love to know what that, if it's the oak moss. That's really, it's actually a really beautiful scent. And these candles last a good long time. Um, actually, like, past seven days, which I was surprised about. So that was like awesome. But it says about this. <clears throat> our night sky scented soy wax spell candle. Our night sky scented soy wax candles infused with lemon, rosemary, lavender, freesia, if I'm saying that correctly, oak moss, and sandalwood. Light this candle while working with any moon phase or celestial rituals. We scent so blend together to cleanse and amplify your highest intentions while working under the night sky. <laughs> Which I definitely believe that. Because it does smell very cleansing and soothing. I realize I put that. And then. This is beautiful. I got in one of these in one of my first subscription boxes ever. I was like, it was actually just a free gift for signing up. <laughs> I actually, it's right here by my desk. And I've made a couple. But it, it's so pretty. This 
is fun. Look at the pearls. It's so pretty. <laughs> this is so funny. The moon is like almost like a tea ball. That's how it's like netted. That'd be so cool if it was like a tea ball. Of course, you know, not on this. This is a wall hanging, but. I guess it would have to be a little bit more fat though if it more Irvies in it. But oh, this is beautiful. Look, they still have some crunchies. And it's like super long. This is the way to like be on the door or on the wall. I still have some wall space over here. <laughs> but this is beautiful. And then you can always make this your your own if you learn how to make this knot, which is it's very simple. Um, but yeah, you can make this your own if you wanted to. I love the pearls. It's so pretty. Um, and it says about this, that this is the macrame. Oh, I loved when they sent that, um, the hanging wall, the hanging plant and the planter. That was so cool too. Um, the macrame, macrame moon wall hanging elevate your home decor and invite a touch of celestial magic with our macrame moon wall hanging this design is a perfect focal point for any wall whether it's in your living room bedroom or meditation space that's awesome <laughs> get those crunchies so pretty this is actually maybe unhook it this is the first one I ever received right here. And then I ended up making one. And I didn't even think, yeah, there's a beautiful one from the Witch's Moon. That one hangs above one of my shelf altars. But I think they're beautiful. I love macrame stuff. I'd love to learn how to do that. But it's just like another another thing. I already want to I already want to learn so many things, you know? So let me continue. It's so crazy. I was talking to my husband and we realized that double rainbow we saw yesterday was like, we haven't seen that uh, rainbow since like 2019. And then it was crazy to get this card in my tarot reading this morning. I'm like, so like going off topic, but I was looking at it. So I was seeing the moon kind of above her. But this 10 of wands comes from the mythos tarot which has like all the greek pantheon throughout it and she's the goddess and personification of the of rainbows and i just was like what a crazy card to get after seeing those rainbows and there was a blurb that said if you get this message you'll see a rainbow <laughs> this is like my cards have been playing with me <laughs> right let me get back to it this is the last item and I was actually, this is the first workbook that I was excited for. I need this box. I have those crunchies all over my, my lap. The Astrology Workbook, a 12 week journey into your birth chart. So this I thought was really neat. Before I open it, let me just read, read it. It says, a 12 week journey into your birth chart. Our purpose for this workbook is to elevate, or excuse me, is to use your astrological chart as a roadmap for our inner reflection. Each week for 12 weeks, you will work through one house of the zodiac. Each one, or excuse me, each day of the week, you will be presented with two questions and prompts related to the house you're working through. These questions were created as an invitation to consider how you show up in the world, interact, and exist within these areas. There is shadow work in these pages, along with a deeper understanding of your astrological nature. So, the mild press, this one's a, a biggie. Oh, yeah, look at the, all the colors. You know, this is the candle box and like the oil and even like the the dice i like that you know everything everything like vibes but I, and I was one i was like wondering if they're gonna get that purple ultra cloth that was beautiful i love using that one 
But I was like, maybe they were gonna give that one for summer. But I didn't think that until like I saw this, <laughs> until I saw that, it was like, it makes sense that they gave it for summer. But here's what the book looks like inside. What is astrology? Your birth chart and the houses. So there it is. So that's perfect for playing with the astrology dice to decipher those. And then we have your big three, your sun, your moon, and your ascendant. I'd love to know down below what are yours. Mine's um, a Virgo sun, Libra moon, and Libra rising. Understand the 12 signs of the zodiac. So we got our earth, fire, air, water, and earth. And then the different modes and rulers, the signs. I don't want to give everything because I also like, you know, like this is their stuff, but I just want to give a glimpse. The aspects, retrogrades. Oh, that's so cool. You can write your own birth chart in here. I have the magic of eye planner, which have, I've been getting that for years now. Um, and in the beginning, you can draw your, your charts. Every year I do that. But um, I don't mind drawing it out again because it's like really cool. So then it goes into the houses and then it gives you a blurb about the houses. So this is really awesome. So I'm excited to learn from this. This is, this is really cool. This is probably my favorite workbook so far. <laughs> um, and then at the back it just has notes. So yeah, it's like seven days with notes and then you can even reuse that in your BOS or something, in your journal. So yeah, I'd love to know how did you think about, or your thoughts about this, um, I guess, bi-monthly, because they're going bi-monthly. I don't know if like that means a new box will be in July. Loki kind of hope there is. <laughs> but um, but um, yeah, I really loved everything. Um, what would I say my favorite items are? Cause I, realize I kind of don't do that, and I should, um, I feel like really connected to the Desert Rose, this candle smells like really bomb, and the workbook, and then the, the herb and the glass and the, with the label, I kind of low-key like that they didn't put, tea, you know, Tame Wild on here, so it was kind of just, but I wonder if they're going to do like a new series, like the nine sacred herbs, that's what they're talking about. But um, yeah, if you got this box, I'd love to know what herb did you get if you did if you got chamomile or if there was because it said it was different herbs. Oh, and this this I'm excited for it too because I, I like how dainty and cute that is. So, and this is so adorable too. So I'm just like happy with the whole box, and this smells really nice. There it had a jasmine oil and it was kind of so-so, but this one that smells nice, and they infused it. Where um, I actually did a giveaway and I infused it because I got a second box um, for Miss Snazzy Z because she won that giveaway. But um, let me show the card because I always like to show the paperwork. And yeah, um, I'd love to know all your thoughts on this box. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me throughout it. It means so much. Please stay safe out there, make good choices, and I look forward to seeing you next one. Bye guys.